Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the ISDT BG-8S LiPo checker. Even though it's been calibrated from the factory, it's still important to calibrate it to your current settings and environment because vibration, weather, and everything like that can throw off the readings from here. So in order to calibrate, we need a reliable source or a reference point. So this multimeter that I have is super reliable. I've had it for a while. I've calibrated it. So I'm using this as a reference point. So in that instance, I've actually calibrated this P30 charger so to make this calibration and to speed up this video. But if you don't have this thing, that's fine. You just need a multimeter or you can use a reliable power source. So you can use like a fixed voltage regulator and connect that into the battery charger, provide that for each part or each channel of the, of the balance port that it doesn't exceed the voltage input. So I think it's from like three to 4.3, five volts or something like that, don't go too high because you can end up blowing out the unit. But anyway, if, as long as you have it set to a reliable value that you know of, um, better for the for when you calibrate. So I'm using a large 6S LiPo battery. I wish I had an 8S because this thing can support 8S LiPo, but I will have to uh, calibrate the other channels when I get to a bigger battery. But 6S is pretty common. And you want a large battery pack because if you have a small one, such as this um, 450 milliamp, and this is gonna fluctuate in voltage a lot and it's gonna make it harder to calibrate. So I recommend going with a pretty large pack. And for this setup, I'm just gonna show you how I calibrate with this unit because I've already set this. Otherwise, for I'm gonna show you from the typical scenario. So what we'll do is we're gonna um, unplug this battery balancing port from one of these channels. So I'm gonna plug it from channel two, and I'm gonna plug it into this port right here. And you wanna make sure that you align it to the uh, negative side, just so that the LiPo channels show up properly. Otherwise, if I do it um, incorrectly, it's gonna show up on the bottom, and uh, it'll be harder to uh, calibrate. So all we do is just plug this in here, and then you'll see the voltage readout from here. So we're gonna to go to a special mode, the calibration mode, so we can get to, um, to show more units on the the voltages so more decimal places so now we see that we go to three decimal points and same thing with here so what we're going to do is we're going to plug this balance port in and then we're going to go to the system information so you press a little circle button let me uh just the brightness there you go and then we're going to press the circle button press until you hear a beep Press until you hear a beep, and then one more time, and then you're gonna to go to calibration. So now you've kind of unlocked a unit. And then you're gonna input the unlock key, which is, I think it's unique per each device. And then you just use the um, arrow keys, everything like that to input your values. And I think this is just mainly to discourage uh, from changing any settings or parameters. It's kind of annoying, but I didn't see this uh, step uh, mentioned at all in the manual. So I had to dig around online to figure out how to adjust this. And then there you go. So then uh, press the circle button, long press, and then you'll get to the calibration menu right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna match these values to the one that's on this screen. So voltage two, and then cell voltage three, so let's double check that these values are identical, oops. This one's off a little bit. There we go. For some reason that's fluctuating more than I expected. So maybe didn't save the settings. So double check again. Sometimes it gets thrown off a little bit. And then you just long press and hold the center button. And then there you go. You have your unit already calibrated. So that's pretty easy to do. If you don't have a fancy setup like this, um, what you can do is if you have another balance lead or something like that, you're gonna just end up uh, connecting this part to a multimeter. 
And I'm using um, some header pins. You can use some hookup wire or anything like that just in order to have your multimeter read the values from here. And then we're gonna read from the cell one, which is from the uh, least, the most negative side, so this white part, and all the way to the positive lead. So it hovers in place a little bit, but I mean, we're going to three decimal points. I think it's kind of overkill. Two decimal points is fine, but we're kind of in the ballpark. Um, this thing fluctuates, as you saw, even from here between the, a little bit. But as long as the first two decimals are fine, you're good. Um, so it's pretty simple to do that. I think I had the polarity reversed, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, as long as you have a, a way to read the values from your battery pack to an external device that's reliable, and you can read it from here, you're pretty much good to go. So again, to get back to the calibration menu, you just uh, press the circle button, and then you're gonna go to system information, long press and hold once, long press and hold again, and then a third time, and now you're into the calibration part. Just enter the code, and then you're good to go. So I've already unlocked the thing, so I don't have to uh, worry about it, um, since I haven't rebooted. But if I reboot, basically unplug the power, you're gonna have to re-enter the code again. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. And as always, have a nice day.